Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to use the Arc browser. It just came out for Windows, so let's download it right here. If you got an Apple, you can download it right here. Let's click for now on Windows. So there we go, it's downloading right now. It's preparing my new browser. So let's wait and jump right back in when it's downloaded. So here we are, it just downloaded. And now it's loading, let's wait. So here we are, it's, it's loading now up to set up. Meet the internet again, so here we go. Click on next and here we create an account. Let's do that fast. Let's say, uh, let's say Yuri Chen right now. Let's add the email. Let's add a password. And let's select this. I've read the terms of service and the privacy policy. So we can actually create the account. So let's do that right now. Create an account. Get us to speed up. It's a bold new internet. Hit the ground running and bring your most important tabs, passwords, history and bookmarks with you. 78% of the people imported from their X browser too. So I use Chrome mostly. Uh, you can do whatever you want. Uh, let's for now import it or let's for now do no but you can also import it uh, you can make your all uh, your arc custom or you can still explore the options or make my arc default i will make it default for now just to show you so now i have to do something in my settings let's have a look show it off oh there we go so it's now ready. So here we are at the Arc uh, home base. So here we can see we can go fast to the to our Gmail. We can go fast to our agenda. It's like it's like a like a quick button. So you can use it. You can have pin tabs even. So let's for now browse something. So here you can see what are short shortcuts. So on Windows it's uh, Control D and Control T to pin a tab. Uh, and so you can see you can pin your tabs right here. They already have some with shortcuts. You can duplicate it if you want. Like here you can click on duplicate and now it's duplicated. You can open it even in split view as you can see. Let me close this again. Now it's full. You can even rename it to a uh, new favorite bookmark, for example. So it's it's really easy to use. Actually, you can mute it if there's sound coming from it. Uh, pinch URL. There there are like many ways. Uh, you can also collab it like do it below this, and now it's gone. And you can also create a new folder if you want. So a new folder. Like, oh, let me do this again. New folder. And here you can see we, we can like go get this under it if you want. And now it's uh, below the new folder. And that's how to do it. Or you can drag it in. Well, let me see. Oh, you can do it right here. You can move it to and then say new folder. And now it's below the new folder. So that's great. Um, but let's do a new tab and let's say, for example, Google and just type on Google. And here we are, we are at the Google page and here you can find everything you want. So let's say Arc Browser, for example, click on Arc Browser and let's see, for example, if I want this page, uh, not Apple, I'm on Windows right now. <laughs> I'll just do right click and you can save the element, you can block elements to inspect. But from here on you can also save it. So it's really easy to do. So that's that's about the great part. And so you have a lot of options. And there are more ways. You can also check for
for updates, etc. I will explain that in a later video. Also on here you have incognito mode, I can show you very easy, let's see. Uh, so now you are in incognito browsing, like you can see it's, it's real fast. But the great thing about this is, uh, in my opinion, is that you can switch like really fast between pages. So that's the great part. So this is actually how to set up your, um, your ARC browser. You can do a lot of more things. I will explain that in a later video, also with the settings, etc. But for now, this is how to set up your ARC browser on your laptop or PC on Windows. So thank you for watching.